What's up guys, welcome back to the second channel. Today we are making a video about sushi here in Taipei City, Taiwan. We're gonna check out this restaurant that I've heard a lot about. It's really highly rated, it's called Sushi Ro. We've never eaten there before, but it's a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. So a lot of fun, quite affordable prices. They have a ton of different sushi available. And yeah, we're really hungry. So we're gonna eat a bunch of different sushis, try a couple different things on their menu. Excited to try it out, let's go. So we were seated. It is a Thursday at about 1:30 uh, p.m. and it's quite busy in here right now. And we have the uh, conveyor belt right here. You can see beside me. So all the different pieces are going by. They have a different pricing chart. So the red ones are 40, the silver ones are 60, and the gold ones are 80. And then there's black ones which are 120. But then you also have this here, which is the iPad, and you can switch your language here. And and uh, oh, we're now changing. Okay, so it takes a minute. And then you can order here based on whatever you want. And then it will actually come on another conveyor belt. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but they come up top on the second layer of the conveyor belt. And one other cool thing that you should note is up here, we have cups and uh, sauce, sauce tray. And then you can grab this right here and make yourself up a matcha tea so put a little bit of the matcha green pepper or green uh, tea powder not pepper and then this is hot water right here oh yeah that is refreshing so i think we're going to order from the ipad first So we have a couple different things on the menu here. We got limited time, uh, I don't know, selected netta, nigiri, dessert, side menus, noodles, and then rolls. I'm gonna go for nigiri first. Definitely gonna get uh, tuna. And what else do I have here? Oh, pickled yuzu pepper salmon. Sound good? All right, get one of those. What do you think, Sabrina? Um, maybe we could try some roll yeah oh what about this tuna with grated yam oh that sounds good okay let's try that all right and we'll just order that for now and one thing to note is that you actually only have a one hour seating time limit so eat as much sushi as you can in one hour <laughs> So we've got the tuna nigiri here. It's actually kind of small pieces and I'm just gonna dip the fish in the soy sauce and try this. Mm. That's really good. That's actually really good. It tastes really fresh. A very small piece of uh, tuna though on a small bit of rice as well. well. Let's try this one. This one is the minced tuna, a little bit of uh, scallions on top, and then that is radish, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna dip it in here. Uh, let's try this. Mm. The rice is actually quite sour. The vinegar they put in there is quite strong, and I really like that with the yam on top. It's really refreshing. Next up is this beautiful piece of salmon with pickled yuzu on top, and in she goes. Mm. That was a much bigger chunk of salmon than I had anticipated. It's very fresh. The yuzu on top gives it a nice earthy flavor and it's pickled, so just a little bit sour. And I always eat a bunch of ginger in between bites to kind of reset my palate. Mm, this is good so far. So another thing going around on the conveyor belt is these little packets of wasabi, if you like it. So you gotta hang on to all of the plates so that the waiters can come around at the end and determine how much you gotta pay. And what you usually do is just stack them up and 
sometimes you can get a pretty big pile going. So sometimes if you're really not sure what you want to get, the best thing to do is just wait for something to come by. It's not actually that uh, busy with different sushis coming along, but we're gonna wait and see what we see and try it out. So, we waited for a while. There honestly isn't very much going around, but we wanted to try this beef. So it's like roast beef with a, looks like some kind of sauce on top. And no, not traditional sushi, but it looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Mm, that's pretty good. It has a nice beefy flavor and there was quite a bit of wasabi there, but the beef is not really that tender. And I think we're just gonna stick to the, uh, iPad from now on because the conveyor belt's a little slow and we've got all kinds of different things. There's so many options in here. I didn't even really notice that you have all the different types of fish here and then the different types of uh, rolls and limited offers and noodles and everything. So um, let's get some more nigiri. This one is flounder. Gonna go for a little bit of soy sauce and it's got a chiso leaf underneath too. This looks good. Mm. Oh, I love that chiso leaf. So we want it with something a little bit more unique. This is the cheese salmon. So uh, burnt cheese on top of salmon. It tastes really weird. Oh no. It's like processed cheese and it tastes burnt. Almost like gasoline because I think they use a little torch to burn it. Yeah, they definitely do. Look at the top. Ooh, that's not very good. The most unconventional piece of sushi. Very un Japanese to have this processed cheese on top. Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah. That's not so good. <laughs> Next up, we have this piece of horse mackerel, which kind of looks like it's been seared a little bit on the top. Let's give this a try. So we also got this shrimp tempura, so deep fried uh, shrimp on top of rice. And that's gonna be a huge one biter. <laughs> mm. We are accumulating. Yeah, getting a little bit of a stack going. I don't know how many we got now. Two, four, six, seven, and eight. I think we can do better than that. Our next round is just back to the classics. There's a lot of funky stuff on the menu here, but we really just like the tuna and the salmon, especially the salmon. Look at how like marbled with fat that is. It's perfect. A little bit of that, a little bit of wasabi. That's salmon food. So one of the best parts about eating a lot of plates here is that the sushi gets closer to your mouth the higher you stack the plates so it's easier to eat and it's just a lot of fun too. So we've got one more piece today. This is the grilled Japanese eel with uh, sweet sauce on top. And actually it just told us that our 60 minutes has already run out. So last piece. Oh, just melt in your mouth. And up. 12 plates. Well, not bad. So when you're done, they will come over, count up how many plates you've eaten and charge you accordingly. Then you just take the little table number up to the front counter and you can pay. They take cash or card. So that was Sushiro, pretty good. I'd say the quality to price ratio is really good for yeah. a conveyor belt sushi restaurant in Taiwan. What was that, 520? Yep, 520 altogether. We had 12 plates. Yeah. Pretty good price, I'm pretty full. Yeah, they have some desserts there, um, but actually there's a dessert shop just close by here that serves mango shaved ice that we wanna eat instead of the desserts they have there. So let's go get some mango shaved ice. This place is called Ice Papa. They have all kinds of different shaved ice and we ordered one of their classics, their number one, which is the mango shaved ice. It's just the start of mango season now. There are these bar counter seatings. It's not really a big place, but it is really good shaved ice. 
So we have our bowl of shaved ice. This thing is a mountain of shaved ice. We've got all of the fresh mango here with some condensed milk. My mouth is watering like crazy right now. And we have this, I'm not sure what this is, it's almost like pudding, and then the shaved ice here. And then around the other side, we've got a sorbet. So I'm gonna just kind of collapse this a little bit, try some of that, and let me get some of that mango syrup and uh, condensed milk and try that. Wow, I need to swallow first before you mm. So refreshing. So naturally sweet from the mango. Really strong mango flavor. And the shaved ice has a unique texture to it where it's kind of flaky and it takes a little bit to melt in your mouth. It doesn't just instantly melt. And then just covered in that creamy condensed milk. Wow. Let's try a little bit of this sorbet too. And I won't take too long because I know Sabrina wants to try it. Mm. So much mango. Mango sorbet with the mango shaved ice. Mangoes and mango syrup. Wow. Okay, my mouth is watering too. If you guys could smell this, you would be saying the same thing. I'm gonna go in for this like pudding that's on the side with the, a nice big scoop. I love the different combinations of textures that you can get in a bowl of shaved ice. So like the mango is nice and chewy. The, the shaved ice is actually quite smooth and soft. And then that pudding is really like jelly. Oh, so good. Yeah. Okay. My favorite thing about eating shaved ice is that once you're waiting a little bit, eating slowly, it starts to melt and then all that syrup collects at the bottom and all the sweetness is at the bottom. And because the ice is actually like infused with mango, it kind of just melts into like a mango slushy. Oh, it's so good at the bottom. Yeah, this is like the definition of happiness in a bowl. Would you agree? Yeah. It's so good. I think it's way better than traditional ice cream. I do love gelato, but this is even more refreshing. Mm -hmm. And I want to be totally honest with you guys. Yes, we did come here yesterday. <laughs> we had this yesterday. <laughs> and we wanted to get two bowls. <laughs> I just grew a foot. Whoa, sorry. How good was that? It was so good, I grew a whole foot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How good was that, Serena? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I could eat another one, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of shaved ice places in Taiwan, and they have a lot of different flavors, but the mango one here at Ice Papa, it's one of, Papa Ice? Ice Papa. Ice Papa. Definitely one of the better ones we've ever had. So thanks for watching our second channel video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and subscribe to our other channel if you haven't already as well. And let us know down in the comment box if you have any ideas for fun videos on the second channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.